Ever since Dick Tracy, we've been waiting for that perfect computer watch. We've had calculator watches, we've had digital watches, but we've never had a watch that was actually a computer until now. The WIM-1 is the world's first Android watch. Let's take a closer look. Uh, so as you can see, the WIM-1 watch actually isn't a watch at all. It's a module that can plug into a wristband to become a watch, but it could just as easily be a keychain or a necklace or a USB key if you'd like. Uh, the WIM company plans on licensing these to different partners. They won't be selling them under their own name. Uh, so you might see this as a sports watch or you might see it as a general purpose computing watch. Who knows? Um, as you can see, it's very thin and light. Um, the front of it sports a 1.4 inch screen that's 160 by 160 resolution and has a really unique dual mode. Uh, so when it is asleep or in normal mode, it looks just like a grayscale digital watch. But as soon as you tap it, it lights up and you can actually see that uh, it has full color, 65,000 color screen on it. Uh, there aren't many buttons on this thing. On the side here, we've got a power button that is usually obstructed by the band and you should really never need except for the first time you turn it on. And on the back, you've got 14 pins that connect to the charging dock. Uh, so let's take a closer look at what the WIM-1 watch can do. So here you can see on my wrist, uh, the WIM-1 watch uh, with its default band looks a lot like a typical Casio or Timex digital watch. Uh, you have your choice of watch faces right here. I have one that's called the Fahrenheit and I like this because it shows the date, the time, and the temperature. Um, but you can actually, if you hold this down, choose between different watch faces uh, that look different. Here's one that looks like a typical analog watch. Here's one that looks like a green field. Here's another analog watch and another. And there are several third-party ones that you can download. Um, but, you know, once you've picked your watch face, there's a lot more to this uh, WIM-1 than just uh, a watch. So if you um, have this activated and you swipe up, you get your app menu here. Uh, and there are a few different little micro apps on here that are designed to um, just give you what Wim calls micro experiences, kind of short bursts of gathering information. Uh, here's one that a third party has made, uh, which is a news reader. And we love this because it allows us to uh, get the latest news from our favorite tech blogs or other news sources and actually scroll through and read our headlines. Um, this is all very much in beta, so the formatting isn't perfect, but you can see it actually has photos at the top of some of these stories, so we really like the news reader on here. Uh, other apps include uh, this game here, which is another third-party developer attempt called Labyrinth, and what it does is it demonstrates the accelerometer on here, so you can actually roll the ball around a bit. Um, and uh, it's just kind of a demonstration of the capability of this device. Obviously, there's also a calculator that you can use. Um, but interestingly, uh, right now, there are a few things that you don't get. Um, so there's no keyboard on here because it's too small. Um, there's no email app yet, and there's no messaging app yet, and no photo viewer yet, but we expect all of those to come. Right now, the main apps on this developer version are the weather, um, which is kind of neat, the um, calendar, which syncs with uh, your Exchange or Google Calendar calendars. Um, and uh, we really like that. It actually flashes to remind you 15 minutes before an appointment. Um, there's a timer, a stopwatch, and there have been some third-party attempts at doing a universal remote. Didn't quite work. A map. Um, and uh, the App Store isn't even up yet, but we've just downloaded these from the developer forums. Uh, so this watch has a lot of potential. Uh, as you can see, the screen is really bright and colorful, but it times out a little too quickly at 15 seconds of, of inactivity. Um, but there's a lot of potential here to get information on the watch uh, while keeping the phone in your pocket. Uh, one of the things that we also really love is this phone's ability to sync with the, um, with the phone that's in your pocket via Bluetooth and show you either incoming calls or incoming SMS messages. Let's have a look at how that works. So you can see that we just got a text message and uh, we can't answer it from here because there's no um, keyboard on here, but 
uh, the good news is we can then decide whether or not to pull that phone out and answer this SMS message right away or just decide, okay, I know he wants to meet me at 6 p.m. and uh, swipe this away and get back to our business. The Win One Watch is in developer preview stage right now and you can buy it for $2.99 if you sign up as a developer with WIM. Uh, but primarily we're going to see this licensed and sold on, under other brand names. Uh, but this platform has a ton of potential and we're really excited to see where it goes. Here's what it can do. It can run apps that have been designed for it and there could be end up being hundreds or thousands of them. It has a 667 megahertz ARM processor in it. Uh, it's got 2 to 32 gigabytes of internal storage. This version has 2 gigabytes, but partners can put up to 32. And of course, it's got this nice 1.4 inch dual mode screen on it. Uh, it can vibrate, it can beep, uh, but it doesn't have a speaker or a microphone, and it doesn't have a headphone jack. It does have Bluetooth, uh, so it can not only connect to your phone, but eventually connect to a Bluetooth headset or other Bluetooth peripherals. It does have Wi-Fi and it does have GPS, uh, which isn't enabled right now. Uh, with the Wi-Fi, it can sync um, up to once per hour with WIM servers to pull down information like your calendar, uh, and that sync may be enhanced to get more kinds of data. It gets your news feeds. Uh, it may get a lot more different stuff. Uh, so the device has a ton of potential. Um, it's not going to be your Dick Tracy communicator because it doesn't have a camera in it, uh, but it could be uh, your constant companion uh, that lets you look at it and get all kinds of information from your email to your calendar to the latest news headlines. Can't wait to see where this WIM1 goes.